Hey everybody, just checking in to say hello and to remind you about our Amazon gift card giveaway. You're gonna to want to uh, invite your friends and family to like the happy place. I don't know if you've been able to check that out yet, but as part of Brevity, we branched out and created a place called the happy place, which is where I am happy because I get to browse and shop online for great deals. And you should be happy because you get to take advantage of these deals. So make sure you invite, like, tag, share uh, the happy place so that your friends and family can get in on those great deals too. I believe the contest goes through July 31st. Um, and again, it's a $50 Amazon gift card that you could win. So that's pretty awesome. Want you to do that for us. Uh, and then also a few days ago, you might've heard me mention that it is my oldest son Hudson's fourth birthday. And so we are really excited to be able to have a little party and get together tomorrow and have some of his friends, our friends over and celebrate this monumentous occasion. Um, and one of the things we're gonna do for his birthday is I'm gonna make uh, a rainbow explosion cake. I don't know if you've heard about these, um, but I had seen them and thought they were pretty cool. And Hudson happened to see one when I was looking at it and said, I want a cake like that. So, well son, consider it done. Um, but I got a kit to hopefully make the first time easier. I have no idea what I'm doing with this. And I happen to get this kit from Williams, Williams and Sonoma. It's got uh, supposedly everything I need uh, to be able to pull off one of these rainbow explosion cakes with raging success. So I'll um, share how well it went and the outcome with you here in a few days. But in the meantime, I want you to hear from someone, one of my friends who actually knows what they're doing when it comes to baking. Her name is Vicki and I met with her a while ago and just had her share. She, um, on the side, decorates cakes and cookies and she does a fabulous job. She did my son Fletcher's second birthday cake and it was delicious and so cute on top of all that. And so I just wanted to see if she could share some tips so that some of you at home, including myself, can look like we know what we're doing when it comes to decorating cakes or cookies, um, even though maybe we don't. So hopefully she'll pique your interest and help you out and we can all enjoy some pretty cakes and cookies in the future. Here you go. <laughs> Hi everybody, I am here with my friend Vicki. And she tonight, uh, she does cakes and cookies, both mm -hmm. cupcakes. Cakes, cookies, cupcakes. I haven't mastered Sweets. pies yet. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but <laughs> working on it. Uh, and so she did my son's birthday cake a short while ago mm -hmm. um, and just is very talented this way. And so I asked her, I said, would you show us some tips that can help us um, maybe not baker, decorator people at home be able to do some of the things maybe make it look like we could be. <laughs> Absolutely. I can so totally help with that. So we're going to get started uh, tonight, and you've got the frosting, and we're going to yes. mix that up and get it in the bags. Yes. So. so my favorite thing to do is make a big batch of buttercream okay. frosting. There are a ton of buttercream frosting recipes. You just kind of have to find what you like. Some people like okay. them super sweet. Some people don't. Mine is not super sweet. I think it's a good combination. Um, so what I like to do, because I deal with lots of different colors, okay. is I like to put it in a bowl so I can color it the way I want it, and then I can color all the rest of it something however else. I want. Yeah, Got something it. else. So with these colors, I always buy the big ones because I decorate a lot. Sure. There are smaller ones, so, you know, it's just kind of your option. I'm sure a lot of this is kind of trial and error and experience too to learn Total, how, much, yep. mm -hmm. how much dye, how much Yeah. So you just... Um, I probably put more in most times I've seen people be like super cautious, but I like colors to be bright. And I also picked electric pink. Okay. So it's like pink because <laughs> it's kind of my favorite. It's kind of bright and springy okay. and seeing as how it's been dreary outside. Yeah. So you just mix it around till you get the color that you want. And I think that okay. is pretty. So this is buttercream frosting. Is that probably yes. the most common... That's what I like to okay. use. It is the most common. There's like a Swiss meringue and there's some other um, variations on buttercream, okay. some that may be more Crisco heavy, some that are just butter heavy. It just okay. kind of depends. Um, but mine's a combination of butter and Crisco together um, with lots of powdered sugar. Okay. So, yes. <laughs> um, what I, my two favorite tips for decorating cupcakes happen to be these bad boys. Okay. Um, they make different shapes on the cupcakes. This one can make two different shapes. You can either make a rosette, which is super popular, okay. or you can just make a pretty, um, oh, fluffy top mm -hmm. to it using, so that's this one. This one makes these cool squiggly lines, so it's 
I would say the boys would be more into okay. this one. <laughs> this is more of a girly one. Okay. So normal tips, I have to use the couplers with them um, and the tips are smaller. So for this particular one, I'm going to use scissors and cut off the tips. Sure. Um, be super careful with that and then use tape. Okay. That's scientific. Okay, I like it. <laughs> right? So what I like to do is I like to go ahead and put my tip in the bottom. Okay. And I just kind of guesstimate, and I use my thumbnail to score it, okay. so it's easy to see where to cut. So you don't cut off too much, I see what you're Right. Doing. Okay. Because if you cut off too much. Your tip's gonna go funny. Yep, okay. and the reason why I use the tape too is because icing will get down in here uh -huh. and you'll have icing squeeze out everywhere okay. <laughs> so this is just my way of keeping sure. everything insurance together. absolutely because <laughs> you don't want to waste frosting no no you want it all in the cupcake okay where do you get your decorating supplies my favorite 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 store of all time is cake stuff cake stuff okay. yes it is on central between um uh, Maze and Tyler. Okay. And it's next to Ace Hardware. And I mean, yeah. they have I'm, everything. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you walk in there and the place smells like sugar. Okay. Like nice. it is like to die for. So I spend hours in there all the time. You gain calories just walking in just because of the way it smells. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm still trying to find that magic eraser. I forgot one quick okay, thing. Okay, sure. My other tip okay. is a cup because- I was gonna say, fill your pint glass with beer. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's you. That's you. Just don't drink too much or your roses yeah. might look a little wonky. Then you have an excuse. Exactly. You're so sorry about your luck. <laughs> I do this because it's easier to load. Okay. Some people that have been doing it for a really long time will hold it in their hand and load it. I just okay. find this works like for me. The, okay because it just makes it easy. Now here's the other thing. Whoa. That obviously didn't get mixed, but the cool thing about putting it all in here, it gets squished Squish together okay. and it doesn't matter. When you do your frosting, can that be frozen? Yes, or I, is mm -hmm. that, okay. nope, I can freeze it. Um, I was thinking I only leave it in the freezer for about a month and then I don't okay. use it anymore. I, the taste of it is funny to me okay. after a while. So, but yes. I was just thinking if you made a big batch and then how do you judge mm -hmm. how much yep. you need? And, and I like to, if you can like, freeze it. yes, you could freeze it. And then what I like to do too, is I like to put the date on the outside of the container or the bag that I put okay. it in. So I just know how long it's been in there. Okay. So here's your bag. I squeeze everything down. You try not to get too much air in there. Otherwise okay. it will, the, it puts the air bubbles in here and it'll pop okay. and your icing kind of goes everywhere. So you don't get that pretty tip. Now, as you can see, these are Halloween, <laughs> <laughs> but I had extra batter sure. when I was making a cake. So I had extra okay. papers it, okay. and I just put them together. Yeah. Tell me too, cause you can freeze. Yes. Which is obviously what has been done here. Yes, okay. and that's my favorite thing to do. Say you have something going on and you need a lot of cupcakes, but you just don't have time that week mm -hmm. to make them. I've made them ahead, put them in a two gallon Ziploc bag because they hold a lot. Mm -hmm. And then just, I pulled these out, oh, about an hour ago. Okay. So they're room temperature enough because if they're too cold, the icing will kind of stick to them in funny places uh -huh. and it doesn't do okay. very nice. So I try to let them warm up um, and then do the icing. Okay. Um, and then I've also popped them even back in the freezer to help them set up. Okay. And it doesn't taste freezer burn. Okay. I mean, that's the other thing. I worry about the taste sure. sometimes, but if but it's not so good. Yeah, okay. yeah, totally good. So now we're just gonna pipe. Just a fun little Look swirl. That. Ta -da. That's so much faster than the way I do it with the knife and the. Mm. Well, and then you, yeah, it's, <laughs> it never well, comes out even. You get goop <laughs> everywhere. Right, and that's always the fun <laughs> thing. So, what do you want to try? All right, let's see. Did you, did you start at the middle? Where did yes, you start? Yes, I started at the middle. Okay. 
You just pipe a circle and then build on top of itself. There you go. Well, it's not too bad. Not right, too shabby. More. Yep, one more. Absolutely. Kind of addicting. It is kind of addicting. <laughs> it's your creative side coming out. There you go. Doesn't look quite as good as yours, but I could get there eventually. Absolutely. And that's, <laughs> that's how I started is you start out with kind of what you know, and you kind of build upon it. And the more you do it, the better you get at it. And my piping still isn't perfect, but a lot of times people don't care. They like, they're like, oh, that's cool. I did, yeah. you know, you did that. Yeah. Well, you're absolutely. always your worst critic too. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. I always think. And before, um, cause I know we got some other stuff to do today too. Yes. Um, you were telling me your tip about yes. this bad boy. Oh, absolutely. Mess no, you're fine. Papers. Love the parchment paper. Um, what I like to do with these is I bake the cupcakes, and if I'm going somewhere, I put the cupcakes in there, and then I frost them. Because okay. then you're not sticking your fingers on a cupcake and getting icing everywhere, ruining your frosting that you just very prettily done, and, you know, messing it up before you go somewhere. <laughs> 